Tractor Museum in Chipaxade, they have several different models on display of tractors and the history of tractor making. Famous brands such as John Deere, Caterpillar, and Case are also here on display. Uh, we are going to go to a factory and we're going to find out how these new models of tractors are made here. The development of Russian tractor manufacturing has hit a new level of moving forward, but also holding on to the past. This is a one-of-a-kind museum in Russia where wheeled, tracked, industrial, and skidded tractors are on display and you can get acquainted with the entire history of tractors from the very first models in the world up to the newest innovations. It's amazing that these clumsy looking pieces of equipment can do stunts. Sergei Yegorov, with his huge blade, works with the exactness of a surgeon armed with a scalpel. In his 30 years, he has mastered many of the models of equipment produced here and can even hear the slightest flaw in machinery. Sergei was later asked to join the company's presentation group, where he turned the demonstration of the capabilities of tractors into a real show. It's much more difficult to do tricks on a tractor than assemble one. You get kind of used to the tricks and do them almost automatically, but there are some small nuances, and some of the tricks are easy where others need more practice. Assembling bulldozers are long and hard work, and in order to put together all of the pieces, it takes about three to four days for each piece, depending on the model. For example, Sergei is now preparing a bulldozer that was ordered by and will be sent to North Africa, to Algiers. This tractor is for export and is a southern variant because it doesn't have a heater. It has an air conditioner. So far we've assembled the engine and the chassis. Then we'll move on to the hood, the sides and the cabin. Then we'll add the wheels and tracks. After that we move on to fueling it, checking the transmission and hydraulics, and the bulldozer's done. here to this area where they're tested to see what they can and what they cannot do. Behind me we've got a T40 and a T15 working hard through the mud. 